is going on guys today i'm going to show you how to enable mega lighting in unreal engine 5.5 this is the preview but it'll probably be the same in the full version as well um so as you can see i have a bunch of movable lights each one of these cast shadows they're movable and i've turned off um inverse squared fall off so that they're brighter um so yeah each i have a bunch of lights all of them and they're all casting shadows so in order to enable this if you want to do it project wide, which I don't recommend because it requires hardware ray tracing and if you're releasing on an older uh, target PC, then you probably don't want to do that. But basically, if you want to enable project wide, you just go to Mega Lights, type it in and type in uh, support. Now if you hover over it, you'll see it needs uh, hardware ray tracing. So if we go to hardware ray tracing, um, you'll want to support it and then use it when available. Um, so after that, if you want to enable it per level or per region, you can either do this in the post process volume, which if you have one in your level, you just search it up. And you can also do this in the character too, wherever there's a camera. So if we type in mega lighting, uh, hold on, mega lights, it's just called mega lights. Um, so as, as you can see, I have about 100 FPS here. If I turn this off, I go down to like 50. So um, Mega Lights is definitely kind of like Nanite for lighting. So um, that's basically that. And then you can change the global illumination. I'm using screen space. You can use Lumen, which will help with Lumen performance a lot. Um, you can use none, so forth. I'm just using screen space. But yeah, that's basically it for Mega Lighting. It's very easy to set up. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, join the Discord, and have a good one.